hello everyone. How are you guys doing today? I'm here at the hospital at New York Presbyterian. I'm getting ready to get an echo, an EKG, my cardiologist and my EP doctor to check for my pacemaker and defibrillator and how, you know, my kidneys and um, liver and all my organs are doing according to my medications. So this is my six month follow up. And they're gonna t today they're gonna tell me when my next heart surgery is going to be. So there's gonna be a vlog style, and I'll let you know what they say. Okay guys, so I registered for the echo. I also registered for my cardiologist. Inside the cardiologist, they will do the blood work. I'm just waiting to be called in to get the echo done, which takes about 20 minutes. Um, hopefully my heart does not show that it's worsened. Um, if not, I guess the process is going to steer in a different direction. Um, I do know when I see the doctor, they're going to give me another appointment, which is the appointment where I'm going to start getting the testing done for my heart surgery, which I'm not sure when that's going to be, maybe like in September or I'm not really sure. I know I don't have much time left for my battery to run out. Um, and then after I see the cardiologist, I'm going to see my EP where they're going to read my machine that I have here. And that's where they tell them how much battery I have left and they'll know when I need to come back. So I'm about to start doing all the testing now. So stay tuned and I'll let you guys know what the outcome was. Alright guys, I got the uh, EK, not the EKG, I got the echo done. It took about 20 minutes. This time it hurt it a little bit more because usually I get it done by a woman. And this time it was done by a man. And he was just jamming that, that roll on real hard in my chest area. So it did kind of hurt a little bit. I am in the waiting room to see my cardiologist. Automatically, my echo results uh, go to her computer in her office. So when I see her, she's gonna have the results and she's gonna be able to tell me what my ejection fraction is and how healthy my heart is or did it get worse or anything. So I'm waiting in the waiting room and I'm just gonna show you um, a little view while we wait of the New York skyline from a different angle and in the daylight. That is the Hudson River. What you see, um, what you see over here, it's the New York section here, and over here on this side, um, it's the uh, New Jersey side. But look at how beautiful the water. Usually there's a carnival cruise that passes through there, the Norwegian cruises, and different kinds of cruises and boats pass through this um, river or water. Um, and it's very, very beautiful, but I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful the view is while I'm waiting to see my cardiologist. Okay, so I, do I saw the cardiologist and I'm waiting for my EP to get my pacemaker and defibrillator checked out and I'm just having some coffee I 
I haven't got my blood work done yet, but they said that I can eat breakfast and that I can eat, drink coffee and it's not going to affect the blood work because I'm not diabetic, so it's not going to affect anything. Um, I do have here a sandwich, so in case I couldn't eat, you know, I could have something real quick after they do the blood work, but they said I could eat now, and I'm starving, guys, starving, so now I'm just waiting to get my pacemaker, my defibrillator checked out. Mm. I know I didn't have any makeup, but super, super early in the morning and getting a lot, a lot of testing done. I just have ham, I'm sorry, tar turkey and cheese on white bread. Mmm. I always think everything tastes so good. Mm. Especially when you're so, so hungry or when you're restricted from eating, it's when you want to eat the most. So I'm probably going to be the next one to be called to get my pacemaker and defibrillator checked out. I was told already that I only have eight months left to my battery. So that means in about four more months, I have to come back um, and we do all the tests, the echo, the EKG, the cardiologist, so they could give me a surgery date. So I'm looking at... Um, heart surgery before eight months from now because they have to do the surgery before the battery dies because I need it so let's keep our fingers crossed they'll probably do the surgery in like seven months maybe like right before the battery ends. <clears throat> so it's probably gonna be somewhere maybe around Christmas time, I would assume. But things can always change. Um, and I'll come back, they're calling me. I'm on my way to get the blood work in the elevator right now. And I'm gonna get the blood work done and they're gonna call me on the phone and let me know what the status of my blood work are. They're gonna check my liver, my kidneys, and all that good stuff inside. I am number 171. That's me right there. So I got called in to register for blood work. And at the same time, they said that I needed to get an echo. So they gave me this card here. And I'm just waiting to be called up in the monitor up there. Number 171 is my number. And I'm just going to sit here in this chair by myself 
and wait till that number up there turns to 171 so I could get my blood work done and my EKG. So guys, I got the blood work done already. That's the elevator. They had to take the blood work from my hand instead of my arm because it wasn't um, popping out the vein or whatever. So they took the blood work. They took four tubes of blood work and I'm done. I got all the testing done. And I just have to wait for, I just have to wait for them to call me and give me the results. They didn't see any changes in my heart except that my heart is too fast. So they gotta see what they're gonna do about that because I'm already at the maximum uh, level of medication. So they don't know if they have to add a medication or what. But we'll see in a couple of days what they say. So, okay guys, I made it home okay, and um, Mr. E had taken me to the hospital where I needed to get all the testing done. Um, it was a whole day kind of thing that I needed to do, and he waited the whole entire time in the car because there's no parking in the whole area where the hospital is. And so we got there pretty early in the morning, so we didn't catch any traffic. The first thing that they did, just to run it down, was the echo. Then after the echo, I saw my cardiologist. After the cardiologist, I saw the EP doctor, which is, they're testing my um, pacemaker and defibrillator. I only have eight months left of battery. And they said uh, when it gets close to the time that it's about to die, inside my body, the machine is going to do like an ambulance noise, not to get afraid or scared. It's just an alarm to let me know that my battery is low. It won't, it's not going to be dead. And it's going to give them enough time to do all the testing, like blood work, EKG, echo, to get the heart surgery done there goes the ice cream it never fails guys give me one second so after that they sent me to get um ekg done and the same lady that did the ekg done in the same area um actually this is the ice cream truck right there never fails that ice cream truck passes here nobody ever stops him so in the same area that they did the uh, EKG the same lady um, actually I have a, a bracelet here from the hospital because they needed to take blood work because every two to three months I have to get my kidneys checked and my liver checked and all my organs checked because of my medication for my heart and my fibromyalgia and everything that I have to make sure that uh, it hasn't damaged any of my organs. So she did try to uh, take the blood out on the arm, but the vein wasn't like popping like up. So they ended up putting, like taking the blood out from my hands right here. As you can see, they took like eight tubes of blood to do all the testing that they needed to do. So um, they're going to give me a call because they want to um, do a special test for a sec like a second step test to a heart transplant. Uh, that they're going to call me and let me know what date I'm supposed to be going. But uh around four to five months i do have another appointment just to get ready for the surgery and that was it um i'm just waiting for them to call me 
regarding what the blood work shows, how my kidneys are, how my liver is, how's all my organs doing, how's my blood um, sugar, how's my sodium, potassium, all of that, thyroid, that's what they're checking for. So they did find my heart a little bit accelerated and they want to investigate why because it should be lower. I know that I haven't been able to sleep that well and you know with Jaden's graduation the emotions are almost catching the best of me and I gotta make sure that I stay calm calm down and not get too over emotional because they did see my heart it's a little bit um, raised more than the, what they would want and if it doesn't get lower they want to give me an additional medication which I don't want so I kind of need to calm down and somehow control my emotions Jaden's graduation is tomorrow so hopefully after tomorrow that I get used to him being you know a high school kid my emotions will go back to normal and I, my life will go back to normal definitely of course in September I'm gonna go through another emotional spur because he's gonna go into a different high school that I'm not gonna be able to be there for him uh, but at least throughout the summer my heart could possibly stay stable so I gotta work on my heart being stable and not accelerated or maybe we work a little bit less or TikTok less or any whatever it is that's making my heart rate um, fast I gotta calm down and make it you know to a regular uh, heart rate that they would like to see that's the only thing that they saw and the only thing that concerned them this time around and that's my life update for you guys and um, I'm gonna end the vlog here because that's basically all the information that I got and I wanted to share it with you guys I don't have any makeup on because usually when I go to the doctor even if it's just like a checkup especially in the cardiologist uh, they always end up leaving me in the hospital for like a week for whatever reason thankfully that was not the case um, but that's the reason why I didn't put any makeup on uh, but you guys all have seen me without makeup anyway uh, next month I do have a uh, appointment for this um, thing right here that's coming out and it swells up the doctor's a little concerned so he sent me to the dermatologist to get it checked out hopefully I don't need like a biopsy to check my skin out because that's never happened to me before and possibly the next vlog will be next week that I have an MRI for my back because I got a pinched nerve that doesn't let me walk, sit, lay down or anything. I'll try to vlog that. That's going to be an open MRI because I'm close to phobic and I can't have a regular um, MRI done. So if I can get to vlog that for you guys, that's going to be next week um, after graduation and after Jaden's little gathering and everything. Um, if I can get to vlog a little bit or take pictures, I will to show you guys. That's going to be checking my back and how bad the hernia or the pinched nerve is because sometimes I can't even barely walk. So those are the two things that are happening um, within the next month. And I'll just keep updating you as I get information. And of course, don't forget to look forward to all my Dollar Tree hauls and online hauls and test tasting or mukbangs that I do or possibly other vlogs. I'm definitely going to try to vlog um, Jaden's graduation for you guys. But if not, I'm always going to take pictures and post them or do a slight video for you guys. So with that being said, I'm going to end it here. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, and don't forget to stay home, stay safe, spend time with your family, create memories. Don't forget to be po um, positive, spread that positivity, and that positivity will always, always, always come right back to you.